Hello, hello. Good evening. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, we can hear you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Very good. Um So remind me, guys, we were doing this session. Um, I guess we watched this video, the time contrast. The idea is to talk about your experiences using like a mix of tenses, like in present, in past, in present perfect, and in future as well, okay? So you watch this video already, right? Yes or no? Did you watch the video? Yes. Okay. So you should know what to answer in the following exercise. This is the knowledge check. Okay. Instructions. Match the phrases with the appropriate information. Can you read the number one? Okay. Before the automobile. Uh huh. People didn't, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about number two, guys? Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at the small store. Stores. At small stores. Stores. Okay, thank you. The third one. There one yep. about 500 years ago, people, wait, wait, out. People played the first game of golf. All right, played, very good. Played, 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 uh -huh. played, 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 of, very good. played the first game played. of golf. All right, thank you. Uh, what about number four? In most office today, people work more than 40 hours a week. They work for more than 40 hours a week. Office here? Offices. Aha, uh -huh, offices. Okay, what about number five? In many cities, nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, nowadays, expression to talk about present, right? Uh, what about number six? Soon. Most people are going to work at the home. Okay, soon most people are going to work at home. And then number seven. In the next hundred years, I have problem with this. Years, it's okay? Yeah. Years. 100 years. <laughs> years. Doctor might find a cure for the common cold. Okay, doctors, plural, okay. Uh, doctors. Doctors, okay, thank you. Number eight. Sometimes in the future, there will probably be cities in a space. Okay. In space. <laughs> in the space, yeah. In space, in space. In, oh, no dice the space, entonces sería in space. In right? space. Yeah, yeah, there will be proba 
there will probably be cities, mire cuando dice probably, lo pone después de will, vea, no le dice they probably will, póngale will primero. They um, will probably be cities in space. space. Yeah. In, in space. 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 Exactly. Ok, thank you. So, we were talking about, sorry, this is not yours. We were doing the questions for simple future, remember? And we were talking about the WH questions, how to form questions in simple future. But if you wanna talk about the future, the structure is very simple to just talk about this subject will plus the verb or subject be going to, don't forget the be, and then the verb plus a complement. Es el simple future. Um, and you know how to form questions. Now, before we were doing el contrast, the simple past and, and simple present and simple future. You see, guys, they have a relation, okay? They, it's a horizontal relation. Uh, it says, aquí está. Sorry, que no sé por qué tiene esta fecha ahí esto. So, a few days ago, talking about simple past, these days in simple present and soon to talk about future. Siempre la idea es hablar en pasado, presente, futuro, igual en present perfect, porque ustedes ya lo saben. Un present perfect. Um, ya lo vieron en la sección, of, you studied this already on the session, the section number one and your number two. So you should know this already. Así como me dijeron, ¿verdad? Que también ya habían visto los uh, indirect questions en el, en el section one. Así que hay es cosas que espero que ya las maneje más. Then used to, otra expresión, to talk about used to. And now you can talk about today, nowadays, in these days, currently, etc. Ok, aquí tenemos las estructuras, guys. In 20 years, what could happen? Next, next year, etc. Next year, I'm going to travel. You can talk about the past. Ok, how my life have, has changed. Well, for example, as a child, I used to uh, live with my parents. But right now, I don't live with my parents anymore. Mm, since I was 15 years old, I started working. So um, uh, like 20 years ago, no, like 20 or 15 years ago, I um, finished or I started my university. Nowadays I, I work, I don't study, I just practice French. And next year, probably, I'm going to travel to France to practice my French. And in five years, I will probably have my own academy. And in 10 years, I might probably be away of El Salvador. Ahí tengo yo mi ejemplo de cómo hablar en presente, pasado, futuro. Okay? Easy, right? Super fácil. Tenemos las expresiones, guys, del simple present. Ahí está. Hablamos del simple present también ayer, del verbo to be y de los verbos uh, regulares o irregulares. Simple present. Aquí está la estructura. And uh, simple past también, ¿verdad? Ocupamos verbo, sujeto verbo. Y para preguntar, ocupamos el auxiliar what. Did, el, para oh, el pasado did, did. es did, para presente, yes, yes, ¿cuáles yes. son? What are the, the, 
And for present? The verb to be. Uh, uh, depende si es del verbo to be, el mes el mismo to be, ¿verdad? Si es eh, de los otros verbos, ¿cuáles son el auxiliar? Verbo to be no ocupa auxiliar. Tú en das. 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 Um, y aquí estuvimos hablando del presente en simple present del verbo to be. ¿Ok? Um, ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Eh, ah, bueno, el pasado ya lo vimos. El futuro también ya lo vimos. Um, sí, eso es lo que vimos ayer. Yep. I am going to... Yes, I'm going to the beach. Yes, Diego is going to Japan. So those are the examples for the simple future. Ahora usted me va a hablar sobre lo que hacía hace años, ¿verdad? Usando estas conexiones, ¿ok? Vaya, vamos a dar tiempo y lo menos que podría hablar es un 30 segundos. Yo creo que para hablar en 30 segundos es lo mínimo que, que podríamos hablar de, de, de todo esto. De, un, de 30 a un minuto. ¿Está bien? 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 ¿No se dice ¿Está bien? Yes. Oigan, ¿Do you agree? Ah, yes, yes, I do. Do. yes, I agree, ok. Eh, no digo are you agree, sino que do you agree. Entonces no vamos con el verbo to be ahí. Solo diríamos yes, I agree. Entonces si digo I agree en negativo sería. I don't know. Don't. Yes, I don't agree. Yes, yes I, I don't. Como uh, yes, no, I don't. No, 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 I don't agree. I don't. I, agree. I don't I agree. Don't. No estoy de acuerdo. O sea, ya agree es Neither. estar de acuerdo. O sea, ya la expresión, ¿verdad? Entonces no es be agree. No, es simplemente agree. Y don't agree es también, ¿verdad? En negativo. Ok. Eh, la profesora está de acuerdo con los estudiantes. ¿Cómo lo diría? Vamos. The teacher is agree with the students. No, no es is agree. The teacher doesn't agree. Uh, no, pero afirmativo. Doesn't agree en negativo, muy bien. Ah. Affirmative. The teacher isn't. Is no, agree. is agree tampoco. The teacher agree. The teacher agree. Agree, yes. solo agree. Acuérdese de la tercera persona. Ajá, Gladys, muy bien. Agrees. Aquí, ahí sería she agrees, the teacher agrees. Ok. Eh, y the teacher doesn't agree sería ya en negativo. Ok. Vaya, entonces, ¿cómo me preguntarían? ¿Estás de acuerdo? Are you agree? No, no, are you agree? No, are you agree? Do you? Do you agree? Ah, do you agree? Ok, o sea, este el, el verbo no es be agree, simplemente agree. Así que se conjuga como los otros verbos, no como el verbo to be. Ok. Um, so, are you ready, guys? Who wants to do it? Quiero ver quiénes quieren participar haciendo este ejercicio. Ok, solo voy a poner rapidito un stopwatch. De uno de 30 segundos a un minuto lo max, máximo. Okay, maximum uh, one, one minute. You will share the other picture? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. I will just put the stopwatch very small. Solo para que escuchen el classroom. So you can hear the beep when it's, when you have to stop. Ahí es, trate de hacerlo lo antes posible. Vamos a poner un countdown de one minute. I had to warm up, teacher, wait. Ok. Vaya, les voy a dar un... ¿Saben qué vamos a hacer? Eh, toquen, cambien, póngale una captura de pantalla y vamos a practicar en grupo, que nunca los he puesto a practicar a ustedes solitos para que agarren más ánimos. 
Y ya okay. después lo hacemos en la clase todos juntos, ¿ok? Vamos a buscar a alguien de los que quiera participar, pero cabal, un warm-up lo pueden hacer en grupo ahorita, ¿ok? okay. Well, how many are we? How many are we? Uh, um, o oh, como diría, how many of us? Eh, how many of us? Are in the are class. We are in the class, exactly. ¿Cuánto vemos en la clase, guys? So, let me count. 16. 16. 16. Ok, entonces voy a hacer tres grupos de tres personas, ok. Yo sé que eh, después entonces vamos a comenzar con Brandy y Gladys que quieren también eh, participar, ¿verdad? So, Brandy, pero después de hacer un warm-up en grupo, ok. Tomen la captura de pantalla a esta... A esta eh, At this part, ok, para que tomen en cuenta las of like linking words para que ustedes agarren pues la forma de cómo conectar las ideas. How you can connect ideas. I got it. I will share the group too. Vaya. Pero la cuestión es que también ustedes lo tengan en eh, así como yo lo tengo presentado. Ok. Así como Brandy lo hizo la vez pasada que me puso el video, o el audio, perdón, solo le dan share ustedes y, y pueden compartir pantalla, sí, los que puedan, ¿verdad? Para que sepan qué seguir y si no, igual ya tienen la captura de pantalla, pueden copiar rapidito esas frasecitas, ¿ok? Vale, vamos a hacer los grupos de tres, vamos a hacer cinco grupos de tres, guys. Pero vamos a ver, todos estamos aquí de verdad, porque si no me van a decir, mire, fíjese que yo estaba con fulanita y nunca contestó. No pude practicar porque nadie estaba en el grupo. ¿Qué okay, que... rooms. Ajá, vamos a tener los rooms. Y por favor, no, cualquier rooms. cosa. ¿Ya? Yep. Rules, don't speak in Spanish. <laughs> don't speak in Spanish, don't speak Spanish, all right? Eh, vaya, pues denme un momentito que... I need to form the groups, breakup rooms. Vaya, espero que les toque ahí mmm, personas que hablen, ¿verdad? No que estén ahí de fantasmas o, o, o callados solo esperando a escuchar a los demás. No, hay que, todos hay que participar, guys, por favor. Ok. Um, if it's made five groups. Yo me voy a salir de uno, guys, porque yo no puedo estar en, en todos. Vaya, algunos van a quedar de cuatro aparentemente. Go, 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 go. Denle a aceptar, por favor. Tienen dos minutitos. You have two minutes, guys. Son las... Voy a poner el stopwatch también. Marcelo, go to the breakup rooms. No dejemos solos a los compañeros, guys. Carlos, are you there? usando esta y usa web connectors ok ok eh, eh, start um, as a child as a I child use to, as a child ok as a child I use it to Um, by yours. bicycle bicycle to uh, ride a bicycle ride a bicycle ride a bicycle okay okay luego dice 
five five years ago, I uh, I changed uh, the the workplace. Hi, I was in another room. Okay. We're going to start to say something about our childhood. Using the structure. As a child, I used we to play... We can hear you, teacher. We can hear you. Ya participaron todos porque llevamos tres minutos. Oh, teacher, I'm too late at class. And I don't know the instructions. Solo usted, ninguno de ustedes ha practicado. Only, yes. only may, Mavi. As a child, I used to play hide and seek. In five years, I will, I will be live in the United States. <laughs> oh. What about you, Pablo? Oh, I'm Hi guys, ya terminaron? Are you finished? No. Una, nada más, teacher. Ok, vaya, practiquen, ya llevamos casi cinco minutos. Please, please, please. Teacher, I like to know if, um, if this is correct. As a child, I used to use two ponytails. It's correct. Where? Where? De llevar puesto where, I where? A, where I was a child. Okay. When I when was a I... child. Y esto estará bien. Five years ago, I am working in hotel. I, I was working. Pasado. I was working in a hotel. Okay. I was. I was working in the hotel. In a hotel. Uh -huh. Were you able to practice, Rafael? I don't hear you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't hear you. Quítale el mute. No tengo... Um, I don't have... I don't have... Uh, the, I don't have the problem the internet. Oh, I have problems with the internet. No tiene o tiene. I have or I don't have. I don't have. 
Okay. I think everybody have problem because uh, when, when we was talking in the group, when we I'm were saying, talking, we were when talking. The, when we were talking, talking, uh, when I'm finished to talk, I can hear my own voice. voice. Mm, did everybody have problems, guys? I gave you more than three minutes. I gave you around five minutes porque vi que en algunos no habían, llevábamos tres minutos y solo una persona había, había hablado, ¿verdad? So, I think that you had enough time. Ok, hoy sí creo que ya tuvieron bastante tiempo para practicar. Ok. Ok. Good. Um, vaya, entonces, Brandy ya me había dicho que lo quería hacer ella. So, she's going to start. Then Gladys. And then, the, lo que más valiente es que no se me... Eh, espérame, no estoy, no estoy presentando nada. Ahí está. Eh, y aquí está el cronómetro. No, I just have a question. Yes, somebody, yes. Somebody in the group said we only have to choose one topic, but I'm saying that we have to use all this list. That's right? Yes. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Let me see, si yo lo puedo hacer, lo voy a hacer bien despacito y obviamente van, van a escuchar. Miren cuántas oraciones, por favor, las anota. Porque yo puedo decir, five years ago, I used to bla, 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 bla. Pero puedo dar más información y no solo como un robot. Ta, ta, la, la, la. A five years ago, I used to work. Fine, and nowadays, I don't work. Ahí es muy cortito, ¿ok? No, five years ago, I used to work in Academia Europea which was a very nice experience. I worked there for around seven years and I finished working there because I needed, miren cuantas cosas puedo hablar, vea. Because I needed to talk about, uh, I needed to graduate from the university. So I didn't have enough time to practice, uh, to be working. Nowadays, I only work and study French, but next year I, I'm probably going to travel to France because I would like to know its culture. I love France because I love French. I would like to practice French. So in five years, I will probably uh, have my own uh, company. I hope to save money, enough money to do it. And in 10 years, I might probably be away from the country. Eso. Miren, no sé cuánto hablé, pero sí lo podemos hacer. No solo como que... Five years ago, I used to work. Nowadays, I don't work. Oh, come on, guys. No somos unos robots. Next year, I am going to work. Eh, or probably I am going to travel. And in five years, I am going to graduate from the university. And in 10 years, I will be working and traveling. Bye. Lo más básico, 30 segundos, es suficiente, guys. Bye. Y, pero sí, ¿verdad? necesito más fluidez. Hoy sí, Brandy, usted es la primera. Go. One, two, three, go. Well, as a child, I used to play football, soccer, uh, basketball, and I practice many um, sports. But nowadays, I don't practice nothing. Five years ago, I work in a company who sell material like uh, banner, papers. Um, I don't know if you can see the big banners in, on the street. So I'm selling the, the this material and it was a really funny. Um, I'm enjoying this job. Uh, nowadays, nowadays I have a small store. Um, it's a grocery store that you can see on your neighbors, you know, a small store who sell uh, candies, uh, sodas, and uh, beans, rice, that's kind of grocery store. It's like a small super selectors. Hey. Next year, next year, I'm going to live in United States and I have to, ah, my time is finished. Sorry guys, one minute, <laughs> I se me repitió nowadays, but it's okay. Eh, después el next year eh, ahí nos quedamos verdad porque por el tiempo va it was okay. nice miren cuánto cuánto tiempo habló y me dijo un montón de, de oraciones she said so many 
Eh, just remember, football y soccer son dos cosas diferentes, all right? El fútbol es el americano, yeah, el de las I manos. Okay? El soccer sí es ya del Real Madrid, de las ligas de, de, de las que nosotros nos gusta más. Okay. Eh, Before when I was in the school, I, all the time we say football, soccer, or football, uh -huh. something. It's very common, but we need to make the difference uh, when we're talking, ¿verdad? porque nosotros ese no lo practicamos aquí en el país. So, no, we need more than one minute, teacher, one minute. Class. I know, I know, vaya, le vamos, si sí, mire, si en esta clase terminamos y, y estamos rogando a los que no quieren participar, pues usted se puede repetir con, con next year y en five years, pero de, veamos que no hayan más, ¿verdad? Más de los más que quieran participar que no hayan participado, ellos tendrían prioridad, ¿ok? And then, um, I'm working, dice, I working. De pasado creo que diría mejor I was working, vea, I was working. Con el, con, hay que ponerle el was ahí. O I'm, hey, you say I'm me, selling, me, ahí está bien. Ahí yo como yo estoy vendiendo, I'm yeah. selling. Me, o I sell, puede decir también como yo vendo. I have, uh, I, I sell everything in a grocery store. Ok, muy bien eso, solo eh, working, diría I was working o I am working si es en presente, ok. Mm. Yes, when I'm say five years ago, I, I was working. Ok, exacto, entonces sería was working, pongámosle was también por el verbo to be, ok. Eh, thank you, vamos con uh, second, it was Gladys and then Morena. Ok, aquí les voy a anotar, chicos, algunas de las cosas que ustedes pues pueden mejorar más que todo en su pronunciación, ok. Vamos con um, Gladys, then eh, Morena, and then we have Ivania, ok. Ok. When I was a One, child. two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Go. <laughs> When I was a child, I used to go to the public market with my mom. And five years ago, I used to start, uh, go to the supermarket. Nowadays, um, um, I find that the eggs are very expensive, for example. <laughs> mm -hmm. And next year, the eggs uh, are going to cost more expensive. I continue, okay? Yeah, we we'll still have In more. In five years, I will be living abroad. In 10 years, I might have um, three children, three grandchilds. Grandchildren, children, no, sin grandchild. ese. Grandchild, grandchild. No, children, es plural. Child solo es uno, child. Child, ok, grandchildren. Ok, grandchildren. Eh, otra vez nada más recordarles, guys, que no decimos used to estar, ok. I used to start go to go to the supermarket or start going to the supermarket. Eh, comencé a ir. O oh, solía ir, uh, dice, I used to start going. Solía ir o solía comenzar a ir al supermarket. Why? Because the eggs I... nowadays are really, uh, uh, five years ago they were cheaper, but now they are more expensive. Next year they will be more expensive. Porque usted dijo, are going to cost more expensive. No, the eggs. I Por said eso. The, egg... the eggs are going to, to, to cost more expensive. The eggs will cost more expensive. Ajá, sería, will be more expensive. Will Van a estar more. más caros. Porque ahí me dice, costarán más caro. Entonces, sería be. Sería be, o it will cost more. Con, o van a costar más. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? okay. Eh, vamos con Morena. All right. No, going to estar, okay. estar, acuérdense, guys, esa es Solo así. Stop. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay, everybody. Uh, when I was a child, I used to play softball. 
it was very fantastic for me because I I hit the ball with a instrument, a metal instrument. And uh, five years ago, I was studying nursing. I feel I felt and I feel right now too very uh, enthusiastic because I I um, got my career. But nowadays, I work as an agent in a call center. It's fantastic, but I'm boring too. Next year, I'm going to looking for a new job. I hope so. And five years, I will buy my own car. And I will enjoy with my own family, my dad, my husband. And 10 years, I may travel around the world, maybe. Thank you so much hey. for listening. Thank you, Morena. You were amazing. You say many, many words and many verbs in simple past. Okay, they were really good. Um, it was very fantastic. Mm -hmm. Me dijo, was very fantastic. Siempre hablamos con un sujeto, ¿verdad? It was very fantastic. Okay? Was very fantastic. Yo sé que lo sobreentendemos, pero para was... Fantastic puede ser de he, she, or he, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de los tres, por eso se especifica that it was fantastic. Eh, I was studying, well, you know, I was studying, was studying. Eh, I were, I, so, nada más un sonidito al final, but I were. Okay. All right. Okay. Eh, I'm going to looking, no, sería I'm going to look. Después de lo going okay. to, recordemos look. que va un base form. Okay. El looking for, looking for eh, es otra expresión, pero entonces ah, después okay. de going to va un base form. Así que okay. very, super good with the simple past tenses. Excellent. Next, okay. I said it was Ivania. After Ivania, no tenemos otro, otros, another people, okay? I, I need more people. So, Ivania, are you ready? One, two, okay. three, okay. go. One. Uh, as a child, I used to go vacation to my grandma's house. Um, five years ago, I was changed workplace. Um, no way days, I, it's very important, learn English. Uh, next year, I'm going to uh, Spain. In five years, um, I will start my own my own business. In ten years, uh, I might retire retire of the employer. Okay, very good. 40, 50, 51 seconds. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you, Ivania. Good, good try. Um Super fluency, me gustó su fluidez mucho, no, se, no estuvo ahí pensando mucho, ¿verdad? En cómo decir las cosas, eh, solamente igual con alguna pronunciación, ahí nada más le voy a poner, eh, I go vacation, me dijo, ese día, I go on vacations, sí, pero si estamos hablando en eh, el pasado, diría, I went on vacations, eh, pero si es en presente, yo... Por ejemplo, usted dice que sí, I go on vacations, es presente, si es en pasado es went, no me acuerdo si okay. es. Ok, debería ser went. On, ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, después sí. I was changed place of work, creo que decía como que quería, que, sí. que cambié mi trabajo. Cambié mi trabajo, correcto. Entonces ahí dice I changed, simplemente changed. digo yo, yo cambié, I changed. I es, changed. Okay. Si yo digo I was tendría que ponerle changing, yo estaba cambiando. Ah, cierto. Okay? Entonces, solo, solo changed, o si le pone was, le pone con ing. Ok. okay. It, wa it was, um, it is very important, dice usted, to learn. Muy importante learn. el aprender, el to learn. El, es el link oh, de, de esas, de esas formas, ya. Yeah. It's very important okay. learn. No, sería mejor. It's very important to learn. To learn. Very to learn. Okay. Yeah. Eh, muy bien. Cuando se corrigió el retired, eh, después me dijo, I will start. No. Will start. I will start. Acuérdense, ese start. sonido entre, las do, eh, entre la S y la W 
We'll start. Okay. We'll start. Vamos. Okay, who is the next? Ah, Pablo. <laughs> A Brandy le vamos a dejar un, el último minuto de las 59 le vamos a dar a Brandy para que se re, para que se quede sin ganas de seguir de seguir participando, ¿verdad? Para que eh, no 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 la dejemos con las ganas de, de que no terminó. Bye, Pablo. After okay. Pablo, ¿quién más, guys? ¿Cuántas manos levantadas? Come on, espérame, no puedo contar. Ok, Pablo, and then Alejandra. Vamos, guys, come on. Pablo, one, two, three, go. Ok, as a child, I remember I used to spend a lot of time playing video games with my cousins, with my neighbors, with my friends. It was a great time because we enjoyed it a lot. Five years ago, I was in a big company. I was boss of a great teamwork because we are very united. Nowadays, I am working always in a big company, but I am right now in a pharmaceutical laboratory. I am a coordinator of business intelligence. Uh, the next year, I'm going to be I hope in another country, always in this company, because it's a great place to work. And in five years, I will be uh, approving the TOEFL test because I'm taking now some classes in, uh, with the best teacher. In a 10 years, I may be uh, in some vacations. All right, you will be on vacations, on vacations. On vacation. Okay, Pablo, super, super fluency as well. Yeah, right, you said many sentences and I couldn't count them porque no puedo contar todas, pero lo que me enfoco más que todo en pronunciation, el I just, pero me como que me dijo. Mm -hmm. I just spent. Espérame. Juice, como juice es como un jugo, es just, just, ok. Just. Um, ah, used to, used to, ¿verdad? Más, más suavecito, no es no como you de jugo, ¿verdad? Use y el u sería use, used. Used. Ok. Vamos, guys, hagamos esa diferencia. Use, juice, use, juice. Use, use, use. use. Use juice, all right? Use juice. Okay. Uh, enjoyed. The we enjoyed, uh -huh. all right? Enjoyed. Okay. Muy más marcada la, la última de porque es pasado, la We enjoyed. Enjoyed. Uh, we are very united, sería we were, porque usted era muy unido con ellos, ¿verdad? We were. We were. We were. Uh, okay. ¿Cómo se dice próximo? Después, próximo. Des... Next. Next. Ok, Pablo. Next. Next. Ok, next. Y también me gustó cuando hizo la contracción de I'll, all right? Porque hay personas que dicen solo I, I work y está hablando en el futuro, ¿verdad? Sería I'll, okay. I'll work. Esa pronunciación muy, muy, muy bien hecha con el, con el will. Ok, vamos con... My friend who's missing. I'm missing. No yet, no yet. Alejandra. <laughs> yes. Mientras tengamos nuevos, todavía no, todavía no. Mientras tengamos más participantes, vamos a esperar que Brandy termine su, su segunda intervención. Ok, so, yeah. Uh, I, got, I got my ideas. And three, two, one. When I was a shy, a child, I used to ride a bike in the park near my house, and I was very happy. And five years ago, I am 25 years old, and I feel very healthy. Nowadays, and work, but sorry. Nowadays, I work in the Mercedes-Benz company 
in El Salvador and Guatemala. And I need what need next year, I'm going to learn English for change my job and, and more money. And five years ago, I will go to travel in Europe and no other countries. And I hope what in 10 years, in 10 years, I meet to celebrate my 50 years old. Okay. Hey, thank you. Super, Alejandra. Excellent. Um, vamos a ver. Me dijo five years ago, I am. Sería mejor, I. I'm. I'm, eso es, yo estoy o yo estuve, no, yo estoy o yo soy. I was. Ajá, very good, in past, ahí estamos hablando en pasado, pero de, por eso digo ago, ¿verdad? Eh, nowadays, nowadays, no. eh, eh, me dicen algunos como no guadays, es nahua, nahua, como nuestro nahua, vea, nowadays, 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 nowadays. Oh, um, nowadays. ok. Uh, nowadays, I'm, I'm studying English to change my job. ¿Para qué? Cuando estamos hablando de nuestra intención, ¿verdad? Ahí decimos, um, I am working, I am studying to change my job, para cambiar. Me dijo, for change my job, puede decir to change o for changing my job, ¿ok? Eh. Um, Five years ago, eso significa que fue antes. Y después me dijo, I will go to Europe. No, sería in five years, como me dijo la última expresión. En cinco años yo viajaré. I will travel, ¿ok? En mm -hmm. eh, five years I will travel. Sí, es, eso es lo único. Que el ago me lo confundió con el, en el pasado, con el futuro, me imagino. Pero no, ¿verdad? Sería in five years o five years ago. Es el pasado. In five years es en cinco años, o sea, si es el futuro. Okay. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Vamos. ¿Quién más, guys? Who wants to read? Who wants... Bueno, hoy no estamos leyendo y sí tenemos un montón. Ok. Anybody else? Teacher, yo he hecho cinco oraciones. Vaya, pues, tell me. Pero 30 segundos por lo menos. Vamos, Jaime. You can do it. Five years ago, I was working in the hotel. Uh, next year, I'm going to change the work. No, no days. No, oh, esa palabra me, me cuesta. Nowadays. No, nowadays, I was free in the work, working. I'm fine, yes. I'm going to the vacation. I try, I used to play basketball. Me faltaron todavía. Okay, I used to play basketball. Ya sería más del pasado, ¿verdad? Cuando digo used to, estoy hablando de que solía. A jugar, a salir a jugar. Ajá, sería I used to play, ¿verdad? Esa sería, eh, al inicio sería mejor poner eso, ¿verdad? Five years ago, um, nowadays, eh, I used to, cuando digo used to, estoy hablando del pasado siempre, ¿verdad? Eh, five years ago, I used to uh, play. Eh, next year, I'm going, muy bien, ocupó el simple future para hablar el futuro. Por en next years, nowadays, mejoró la pronunciación. And I am going to go on vacations. Voy a ir de vacación. I'm going to go on vacations. Ok. Ahí estamos, Jaime. Muy bien. Eh, pues más de 30 segundos, ¿verdad? Sí pudo lograrlo. Así que very good. Thank you. Thank you. Hoy sí, Carla, Selena. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Go. Okay. Go. Uh, when I was a child, I used to play soccer with my cousins and my friends. 
And five years ago, I watched the movie with my family when I stay in my home. And nowadays, I study. And next year, I'm going to go to visit my family in USA. In five years, I will pay my I will buy my house first. In 10 years, I to I'll buy my own house and maybe I get an area. Thank you. Okay. En cinco años me dijo que iba a comprar la casa y también en diez años. And something else. Okay. Creo que <laughs> it's okay. You will buy two houses. <laughs> you will buy another house, a second house, right? Oh, or your, I change my opinion. Your your own company. Okay. So your second branch, la segunda, la segunda eh, sucursal, verdad? Okay. Eh, no, no, let's see. Years so I will. ¿Qué? ¿Qué escribí aquí usted? Nada. Oh. Dice, um, I, I stayed, I stayed in my home. Uh, you said that you, you, you watched movies with your parents and you stayed, okay? No sé si dice, I stay, sería I stay. Como ice de hielo o de ojo, I stay. Y con E de verdad, I stayed, I stayed in my house. En um, cuidado, la no la escuché muy bien, pero para los demás, ¿verdad? No digo I'm will, no, solo es I will, ahí sí no lleva la contracción de I'm, ¿ok? Ni tampoco vayan a decirme, no lo digo por Carla, eh, tampoco me vayan a decir I will go into, tampoco es correcto, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Es simplemente, I am going to, o solo I will. Ok. Um, good. ¿Quién más me faltó, guys? Me, teacher. María. Oh, Mar sí. Mariah, Mariah. Vamos, Mariah. Mm -hmm. Tell me, one, two, three. Acuérdense, con 30 segundos, it's ok, si ya no tiene... Pues nada más que decir, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Con 30 segundos más que suficiente, lo que no quiero es que se me pase. Va, vamos pues. Come on. When I was a child, I used to play hide and seek. Five years ago, I was in my home. Nowadays. Nowadays, I feel more tired. Next year, I'm going to visit my brother in Mexico. In five years, I'll buy a car. In 10 years, I might to be grandmother. I might be a grandmother. Okay, thank you. I might be. Acuérdense después de los models que son will, eh, uh, might. Can, should, etc. Cualquiera de, de esos modas no digo tú. Simplemente digo, I might go, I might travel, I might visit. Pero no, I might to go, I might to visit. Ese tú no es ahí, no, no va. Ok. Very okay. good. Ok. Um, anybody else? We have five more minutes. Don't trip, don't trip, just one more. Evelyn, very good. Vaya. Vamos con Evelyn. One, two, three. Si no tenemos nadie más de Evelyn, terminamos con Brandy. Ok. Vamos. One, two, three. Go. As a child, I used to play softball five years ago. 
I was in the university. No ways. Nowadays. Nowadays. Nowadays, it is important to take care of your health. Of your uh, health. health. Your, or of your health. Mm -hmm. Next year, i going to... Um, Next going year, to I'm going. I am going. Next year, i going to travel Spain. I five years, I go to work Supreme Court. I ten years, I me retake my work. Retired and yes, retired. En diez años ya se quiere, ya se quiere. Bien rápido nos queremos jubilar, verdad, guys? It would be great. To, to um yeah to to finish working uh, very very young but sometimes it's not possible si usted tiene your own business maybe but if not you have to work 30 years por lo menos un 30 años que hay que trabajar verdad para jubilarse to get retired hey Evelyn very good job nada más igual con la pronunciation ¿verdad? Pronunciation, guys, um, child, no chill, okay. Chill es otra palabra, es child, all right? Child, ¿cómo se dice, guys? As a child. 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 Okay. Child. Child. Nowadays. Child. Nowadays, ¿verdad? Nowadays. Vamos, Evelyn, repeat it. Nowadays. Nowadays. Okay. Um, Um, universidad, esas son de las pocas palabras que, se, que pronunciamos y decimos a university, ok, ahí decimos you, you, um, no es universidad, no es como en español, sería university, universal, unique, etcétera, mm. etcétera. Um, y si es importante, se dice Evelyn, leamos completo que es importante. It is. It is. Uh, it is important to take Ajá, care. Very good, muy bien. It's, it's important, right? It, it is important. Eh, no lo leí completo, solo me dijo it's important. Pero. Otra cosa, guys, por lo de último, ¿verdad? Next year, I going, no. Recuerden que tengo que poner después de I going, en lugar de decir I going, ¿qué sería? I, I'm going. I to. am going. Contractado, entonces, es I'm, I'm going. Vamos, cuando contractemos, digamos I'm. 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 I'm, going. I'm Ahí I'm es lo mismo going. que diga I'm. I am going. Vamos. Eh, Brandy, un minutito, dele. Go. Uh, next year, I'm going to live in the United States because I'm waiting for my green card. And I'm practicing for to have my driving license. So in five years, I'm really, I will be retired because uh, my husband said that I don't have to work. So I'm going to work as a housekeeper. <laughs> it will be a job, I will. I just have to stay at home and I'm not going to receive a salary, but I have enough. So um, in 10 years, uh, maybe I will buy a house because um, he have his house, but he has his house, has he his, has house. his house and he have a long land. And we have uh, like uh, 18 tops right now. Eight. And one, yeah. And, Thank you, Brandy. Uh, I have to go. Remember, we have another class, guys. See you tomorrow. Tengo la clase.